Tonight, a Denham Springs man says his solution to clean up the mess is very close to being approved by the Coast Guard. WAP's David Spunt spoke with him this afternoon, and what did he have to say, David? Donna, he had a lot to say. Kevin Barbier, he works for a company, Denham Springs, called Intech, and they sell a product called the Oil Spill Eater. For a month now, he's been trying to grab federal attention, and this weekend, he did it. Every day as thousands of gallons spew from this well, life in Louisiana changes. BP announced over the weekend their latest top kill method failed. Now it's on to a device to cap the flow. In the meantime, shores and marshes once filled with some of the world's most unique wildlife are now a polluted chemical lab. We've cleaned over 14,000 spills in almost 21 years. Kevin Barbier from Denham Springs has been working overtime since the spill occurred April 20th, doing everything he can to push this stuff, oil spill eater. Barbier says it breaks down the oil and creates a natural bacteria to eat it, leaving no dangerous chemicals behind. He met with the Coast Guard in Homa on Saturday. We went through our product. We went through and said, hey, this is what we do. This is why we're different from what you're using now, which is a dispersant. Specifically, this dispersant called Corexit, a chemical even the EPA says is highly toxic. Though Corexit is used miles offshore, Barbier says the oil spill eater is a much safer alternative. It's been really frustrating to get in front of the right people. Um, it's been, but we have. We've gotten to that point. It's gotten to that point now that it's in the marsh and there's nothing else that's going to work. This product is not new. The Navy out of Bell Chase used it in 1995. In 1996, the EPA pre-approved it for oil spill treatment. It isn't even new to BP. They used it less than 10 years ago to clean a spill in Trinidad and Tobago. But now it's just one of thousands of suggestions. Barbier says it's up to the Coast Guard and the rest of the government to decide what to do. After all, time is running out, and Barbier says anything is better than what's being done now. Well, skimming's not going to work. We can't skim a marsh. You're going to tear everything up in it. Barbier says he's confident the Coast Guard will begin using the oil spill eater soon. Coast Guard officials told me tonight by phone they are seriously looking at the product. Donna, we will keep you updated on all that happens with this product. Well, we know there's plenty of bacteria in a swamp and a marshland. Thank, Thank you, you, David.